to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that Heaven Hill has shared with us the new Elijah Craig Toasted Rye. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the toasted bourbon. I like it a lot. I know it's not for everybody, but I, I think it's really great. Mm -hmm. um, oh, my friends really like it too. I really like their rye also, so I'm very excited to see what the, the combination of those two worlds is like. There's a suggested retail price of uh, $54.99 on this one. It's their normal rye, if you're getting the non-toasted version, which is a 51% rye, 35% mm -hmm. corn, 14% malted barley. Mm -hmm. That is H2, age? <laughs> age to... Age to Elijah Craig rye standards. There you go. And then they finish it, you know, they have a secondary uh, toast finishing process that is unique to them. Um, but the difference in this one is, and help me understand this in the comments because my brain does not know how to wrap itself around this concept. They do their normal toasting, secondary barrel finish, blah, blah, blah. But it says that at the end, they put a cap on the barrel Let's just to like rapid heat it. Let's, what, do, what do they say? Read, yeah, straight from the horse's mouth. The toast on these secondary barrels is unique to Elijah Craig Toasted Rye. At the end of the toasting process, a cap is placed on the barrel to quickly ramp up the heat to an extremely high temperature, allowing phenols to embed in the surface of the barrel for an added element of smoke to complement the spice and sweetness of the rye. I didn't realize this was gonna be that long of a sentence. That was quite a bit. Um, in my mind, I'm like, a cap. At first I'm like, so they put the barrel head back. No, that's not, they would just say that. So well, a cap- Well, they'd be pouring into the, through the bung, so both of the barrel heads would be there right. already. Right, and I guess I'm picturing like a shower cap on the barrel, like to keep it warm. <laughs> Which, I mean, when you think about it, like for people, you know, you put a hat on your head because a lot of heat escapes through your head. So is that what we're talking about? But barrels aren't people. And what kind of shower cap is this? No, I, <laughs> I don't know. And I really just need someone to break it down for me. Uh, if anybody understands, please let us know. Um, but it, until then, that's how my mind is going to be sure. thinking of it. So long short of it is, yeah, they put it into a secondary, specially made ISC, independent stave company. Mm. Uh, barrel for an, a certain amount of time and they let it, yeah, do its stuff. They let it do its magic, uh, which we are about to experience, so. Well, now that's toasty and right -y. Oof, mm. oof, love a toasted finish. I get that delicate smokiness in there that they're talking about, like trying to get that with the phenols embedding and the whole process, yeah. science. Um, yeah. But I do, I do get what they're talking about on the nose. So the toast, toasted process and this being a rye is really making me picture walking through a pine forest. Mm -hmm. or, uh, um, yeah, it definitely has pine like trees. an outdoorsy kind of aroma, atmospheric thing yeah. going on. Dare I say? Dare it. It smells like foliage and shit. Okay. There you <laughs> go. Yeah. The little pop of lemon in the there. The pop of lemon. All right, folks. To your health. And there's that lemon also present See, through there. I'm kind of like, do we need to update our eight bourbons and rice that are, or however many bourbons and rice that are perfect for fall? Because this would be on that list. Maybe. Perhaps. If perhaps. enough have come out to where we could make a whole new list. Maybe, maybe it's a blog. Maybe it's a <laughs> maybe social it's post. A, maybe it's I don't know. Blog. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe I'll post it on my blog, my bulletin board. Yeah. Um, you know, it's the Elijah Craig proof, which is 94, but. Without even Oof. going in for a second sip, I am getting the rye. Now, very legal mm. rye, sure, but I think the toastiness, the toasted barrel, normally a secondary barrel will quell mm -hmm. rye spice. This seems to really just be complimenting it. Mm. I do think, again, that's whatever this cap process that they're talking about, they're saying it adds, you know, elements of smoke to complement the spice and the sweetness. Mm. I wonder if it's that, like, that this, that wow. little, it, it's really not smoky, but I don't want you to think it's smoky, it just, Maybe that's what's giving it that little extra hint. Hint of it's a hint. Hint of smoke is ramping up the spice a little bit. Yeah. For 94 proof, my goodness. See, I would even say it's smoky, no cap. <laughs> For the young people who are watching, who have just now clicked away. But not that young. <laughs> no. 21 and older. I mean, please. appropriate, obviously. At least 21 and up. Well, I want to let us sit here because I want to tell you guys about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. You know that. So we're going to get this rye or dye. Of course, I had to wear it for this episode. The green's got rye or dye on the back. The Glen Cairns we're drinking from. All of our glassware, our elemental elixir cocktail syrup. Plus, Sarah, in the month of September, which is Bourbon Heritage Month, 10% off everything site wide, plus free shipping on orders $100 and above. Can you believe it? All I through can. the end of uh, September at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And the support of our patrons help us get recognition to get bottles like this. Uh, 
so that we can tell you all about them. So really it all just comes back around, but in also return, fun. they get access to our barrel picks, after the episode exclusives, access to events, and more. There you go. All right, <clears throat> third sip for me. It is my third sip as well. You know, oh, at $55, I think this is a great pour in that I like it neat. I could totally, on a warmer fall day, have it with a cube of ice or a sphere, or with just a tiny bit of syrup, a dash of bitters. It would make a really great old fashioned. Ooh, yeah, also, we should try this in a cocktail. A really nice fall old fashioned. Sure. This bottle is many uses. Um, yeah. And man, it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like it. And obviously $55 is nothing to, to sneeze at when you're talking about the you know other regular Elijah Craig's around what, uh, $25 to $30? Sure. But I gotta say the mouthfeel on this is also really good. It's definitely elevated. I mean, reg re regular Elijah Craig is good in its own right, but um, you can tell the extra steps that have gone through this kind of just like elevated a bit. Mm. And well, I mean, it should since they're charging more. Sure, you know, easy, I wouldn't call it smooth, but a very coating mouthfeel. It's delicate, but then you get that little pop of rice spice. You get that little hint of smokiness. I wouldn't call it creamy, but it's like going that direction. Mm -hmm, yeah. I am a big fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um, now they they did send a uh, 375 of just the regular Elijah Craig straight rye and a little experiment. So they sent these two parts of staves, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's for making your own. So I want to put one in. <laughs> you can put both in. Oh, that's so nice of you, Chad. Thank you. Wow, what a gentleman. <laughs> Everybody, round of applause for Chad. There you go. Oh, ooh, that smells great. Yeah, Just, go ahead. Now oh. it says, you know, sip it by itself first. We have our own bottle. We have our own bottle. Uh, so we'll sip that another time. But we're gonna leave it in there for two to three weeks. It says, don't leave it longer than three weeks. Um, so check back with us on a live in What's two, today? Or, two or three weeks mm. and we'll see how it uh, did and we'll compare, we'll compare it, it to the big version and and yeah but yeah I in the meantime say, this is a win in the mean meantime keep an eye out for this one i'm a i'm a fan i like it well hey that's where we better leave it if you haven't subscribed to this rating do so by clicking right up here if there's suggestions of other videos down here we hope to see you over there in one of those thanks sarah thanks chad thank you heaven hill until next time drink more rye